Hi guys, my name is Raf. Welcome back to the channel. You might remember me from the other video that we did last year when you guys followed me on the night trip that I did. And we have a request from Zach uh, on one of the comments underneath the video. And you guys want us to speak about the certificates and what's required to start yourself at uh, working in DC environment. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, first we're going to speak about certifications that might help you getting yourself employed at a DC environment be it custodian data center or anyone else, but obviously I can only speak for us, for the custodian. Uh, the first thing that comes to everyone's mind whenever someone's speaking about the network certification is CCNA routing and switching, which I have prepared for you, my very own CCNA routing and switching guide, which is not an easy read. You can get yourself this out of Amazon and will help you prepare for your upcoming exams. There you go. There are two books. They're divided into CCENT, CCNA, and CCNA routing and switching set guides. As I mentioned, they are not an easy read. They are sizable books, there are two of them, but they contain every bit of information that you need to get certified CCNA ready. Now keep in mind that the curriculum for CCNA changes in February. So not only there are two very large books now, they get expanded in February, the exam will change, the questions will change, there will be more added on. So if you want to get certified, get studying as soon as possible. And just again to reference this, this is CCNA Routing and Switching 200-125 Official Cert Guide Library by Wendell Odom. Okay, all of this is quite advanced to semi-advanced, I would say. If you're not there yet, you might look into something else that's a bit easier to obtain. I'm saying bit easier. There's always an effort that you need to put into your certificates. But if you're not feeling very confident with all your PC stuff, computers, networks, what have you, then what you might look at is, I'm going to have you guys linked it here, is CompTIA or CompTIA. I'm not sure about the pronunciation of that. If you haven't been following the computer scene, if you're not following the YouTube channels, if you're not seeing the videos, if, you, if it wasn't your interest up to this point, the a certifications from CompTIA might be something to look at that might help you get into where you want to be and it will also be a valid thing for you to list on your CV. Okay, so if that was the case for you and you've just got your a and then you want to move forward from this, then CompTIA also have, uh, have you covered, they have you covered. They've got either Network Plus or Security Plus. The Network Plus different from this, that it's vendor neutral. Cisco, CCNA obviously does the Cisco switches and routers, while CompTIA is vendor neutral. Now, take it with a bit of grain of salt, because I cannot recommend you one over the other. You might think that the vendor, vendor neutral thing is better, but uh, Cisco still have a monopoly on routings and switches, and most of the companies will be using Cisco stuff. I'm saying most, obviously your case may vary. Right then, next one on our list is, uh, it's more specific because it's very carrier or vendor, I should say, oriented. First one being Microsoft, probably the largest IT-based company in there, out there. So if you want to work for Microsoft and get this fat dollar stacks from Microsoft, you have four options to get certified. You can either be a developer, 
administrator, a solutions architect, or functional consultant. Now, each of them, which of these career paths will guide you towards a different thing. Uh, so, developer one probably will not get you to the DC environment. It will get you to be a developer, obviously. Now, administrator just might get you to the Microsoft uh, DC department. They've got all of the Azure stuff and 365 solutions. So, if there is a Microsoft facility or data center somewhere around you, you might want to consider that. And then lastly, I want to speak to you about something different entirely that might also get you to work in the DC environment. If you're interested in service, in hardware, then you might want to consider VMware certification, which is a VCA, to be specific. And that will get you to work with hypervisors, with service and virtualization technology. If this is something that sounds good for you, if it's something that you want doing, consider doing VCA. Now, having said all of that, I've discussed all of that and all of CompTIA's and all the Microsoft and VMware stuff. Do you truly need it to get working in IT level? It certainly will help, but there's something that's even more valuable than any certificate you can get. That thing is obviously job experience. So how do you get a job experience? Being a young person, you've just finished your high school, you just finished university, or what have you, and you want to get into the job market, and you're getting in the job market, and you're looking for a position in a DC environment. So is there anything in there for you? Well, this very morning, I have found an advert. I haven't cherry-picked anything. I literally went into Indeed.com. So, Zach, all of you US guys for you, Indeed.com. The only words I typed in is data center technician. One of the first adverts, data center technician in Cheyenne, Wyoming. This is for Microsoft. So you'll be managing all the Office 365, the Xbox, OneDrive, uh, Azure, what have you. Uh, that's a DC-based work, and they require six months experience and a high school diploma. So what they're really looking for is a young person with uh, tons of enthusiasm and passion for work, and that will learn on the job and will get the job experience. So my advice for all of you guys in there looking into getting to DC environment and get employed, uh, don't think that the uh, certificates, all of that, will get you working on this level already. This being managing the hardware or being the network engineer or anything like it. I'm not saying that you won't. You might get in there when employer is very desperate. My advice would be start here. Get, be, get to become a data center technician. Get job experience advance in that field and you'll get promoted. You'll get promoted in no time and you'll realize your dreams and passions and you'll get to do whatever you always wanted to do, is it to work in the DC environment. Now lastly, what I want to discuss is uh, keep in mind that non two data centers will be alike. There will be many minor or even major differences between them. They might use different routers, they might use different switches, they might use different models of routers and switches, even if they use the same carrier as Cisco. So you'll probably be covered with this for the most part. But keep in mind that you'll have to learn and advance on the job. As I said, no two data, data centers are alike. You'll have to adapt, you'll have to learn, which is why on the interview you have to really really emphasize that you are willing to learn, that you are a quick learner, that you have passionate, that you're passionate for the job and you're the right fit, which is much, much more vulnerable than any CCNA certificate, which is why the job experience, again, this is subjective, but if we are hiring for custodian, um, job experience will come ahead of any certificate. Now to wrap up, I would like to thank you for seeing this video. Leave us a comment uh, if you're looking for a job. 
email us jobs at custodiandc.com email us remember go through all the possible leads if you are in South East England or if you're willing to relocate there's no excuse <laughs> send us your CV we might get back to you it might be a year from now if we're looking for someone but you never know you might be flipping burgers at McDonald's at this point and you're looking into getting to DCA so if you're passionate if it's you that we're looking for remember jobs at custodiandc.com motivational later optional but always shows well extra mile that you're willing to go to so do so madam i'm willing to work for custodiandc.com <laughs> Uh, thank you guys, leave us a comment if you liked it, give us a thumbs up, do not give us a thumbs down because I'll find you and uh, see you on the next video.